Uh, today, Dr. Rahayus Panga will be talking to us about the development of the creative arts in Java. Please join me in welcoming him. Good afternoon, everyone. And it's really very honor for me because I have Bucidit Becker, one of two I admire very much, and Mbak Nancy, Mbak Susan, Mas, uh, Mas uh, Alan, and also Mas Charlie. Uh, first, I have to apologize for two reasons. Uh, one is for my English, very bad. And the second one is because I want to talk about myself. Uh, so it's really is in Java, it's impolite. <laughs> uh, but when we talk about music in new music in Indonesia, so I have one of the responsible for this uh, weird uh, music. Uh, so I'd like to commence my uh, speech and I want to read because uh, when I talk, uh, maybe I'll uh, go. Yeah, like uh, Banansi introduced me, uh, I was born into the family of Javanese puppet master, Otalangs. My mother, my father, my grandfather, my, yeah, even my ancestor in previous generation were all Dalang. My father was a poor village Dalang who lived in a dry, barren area, although he performs almost every day and was paid quite well compared with other Dalang in the region. Uh, and, but is poor. <laughs> Uh, it is uh, with this kind of experience in my childhood, I never had dreams of becoming a Dalang or any other kind of artist. I feared that I would not have enough money to support myself. I chose to stay at home and study rather than missing school. Like most other children at the times, I dreamed of becoming an architect, an engineer, or doctor of having a profession that would guarantee a better life and a high social status. But fate had a different idea. Because of my family economic situation, my father decided to send me to study at Kokar in Surakarta, a government high school specializing in the art which is not chart and entrance fee, the school fees were also very low. At the time, I felt sad and frustrated because I was unable to go to regular high school. While studying at the conservatory, I was one of the more badly behaved students. <laughs> Every week, I was summoned by the headmaster to be given a lecture and to be punished for my bad behavior. In 1964, ASCII, the first institution of higher education for the art in Indonesia, opened in Surakarta. For its inauguration ceremony, a special concert was prepared with performances of various choristyle dances and music from Surakarta and Yogyakarta that had never before been taught at Kokar or performed outside the Royal Palace or Kraton. The artist chosen from Kokar Surakarta, and I watched all the rehearsal. I noticed that a number of artists were having problem learning or mastering the new repertoire of playing the instruments, even though the material did not seem difficult in my opinion. One day, the gong player The company was unable to come to the rehearsal. I was asked by Pak Marta Pangrawat, the artistic director, to take over temporarily. 
when the rehearsal is finished, I try to play the other instruments that the other musicians, including my teachers, had seems to have trouble with. And I found that I could play all the part without any problems. Apparently, my mother had seen what I had done. And finally, on the day of the performance, I was chosen to play the most important instruments, even though, in truth, I could only play those instruments for this particular pieces. ASCII was officially opened on 15 July 1964 by the Minister of Education and Culture at the time and the co-organizing Minister of Education and Culture, Professor Dr. Priono, also attended the ceremony. A few months later, after the opening of ASCII, I was called by Director of the Conservatory. I was surprised as I felt had no, not done anything wrong and yet he wanted to see me. I turn, it turned out that the director of the conservatory had been ordered by the coordinating minister for education and culture to involve me in a very prestigious presidential art mission in North Korea, China, and Japan. The art mission was led by Professor Piono and member of the group's consist of 70 top artists from various fields of the arts and from various parts of Indonesia. During the three months we spent in these three countries, we only performed less than 20 times. The rest of the times were, we were given the opportunity and honor of seeing some of the best work of art, theaters, educational institutions, factories, Center of Art Education and Sport, Historical Building, Monument and Tourist Object in all the countries we visited. We were able to witness art performances by top foreign artists, visit schools and art colleges which had the best facilities and curriculums and interesting teaching methods and of this opened, my, opened up my eyes, my ears, my mind and my heart. This even played an important role in changing my ideas of, and opinions and determining the course of my life. I began to think that through the art, perhaps I could not only make a living, but even become someone. From the time on, from the time on I began to study seriously, working hard and developing my skills as a traditional musician but also began to try composing my own works from all the different kind of art uh, that I have seen because became I, uh, I became convinced that the Japanese art and also other traditional art in Indonesia and the rest of the world had great potential strength and the ability to exist even on an international level to exist alongside with other great art form in the world I agree with the opinion that essentially an art form, including traditional music, can only exist if it has meaning, purpose, use, function, or benefit for its community at the time of, exi of its existence, and this includes the present day. This means that an art must be always be contemporary or up-to-date. Traditional art have a greater potential to continue to exist and even to develop and be accepted by the community as they have much stronger roots in the community from which they come. It is important for artists to really know which elements still contain values or meaning that are relevant to the community and to the pres present age in addition to having a form and shape of expression which is new, attractive, and of a high quality. Before I graduated from Kokar in 1970, 1967, I had already started trying to write new composition based on the traditional music of Java, Sunda, and Bali. At the time, other branches of Japanese art were also undergoing significant change and developments. Many new and different modern and contemporary works for dance began to emerge. 
At the, at the same time, radio dramas began to appear on Indonesian radio, including code governments and smaller amateur radio station. During this post-independence era, in the world of Tarsen Karawitan, a number of well-known figures mm. who are innovators in their own field also began to appear, like this is written by Ifu Judith Becker, including Ki Chokrawasito, Ki Marto Pengrawit, Kinar Sabto and Ki Harjo Subroto. I would I will give you example on the work of Partner Sabto. Maybe I want more playing music than talking. <laughs> This music is entitled Junjang Banyuwangen. Pak Narsabdo is one of the greatest composers in Indonesia and Jawa, and his works mainly uh, create uh, something like new creation of pop music uh, based on mix between many different styles, like uh, Jawa, Sunda, East Jawa, and from other different area. This one is Im- inspired by music from East Central, uh, from East Java, Banyuwangi. It's also very famous Dalang, and he used to play Kron song as well, and uh, is very good drummer. This record is played by children of Easy Solo. Uh, So I am a product of this generation of artists and in addition of being highly familiar with Tresen Sawanis, Central Sawanis style of Karawita, I am also well acquainted with a number of other styles, such as Balinese, Sundanese, villages, Panyama style and even music of other islands and countries like uh, uh, Bukis, uh, Riau, etc. And recently I just worked, finished work with Robert Wilson and using our music from uh, Bukis. I also have choose, I, I have I also have close connection with the world of dance and theater, including modern styles as well as drama and film. And I have lived and developed alongside my world's artists with different backgrounds in terms of their nationalities, genre and works, methods, I also grew up a composing work of art using what I hope have been a variety of different methods, views, orientation, contents, message, and form. The time that I have spent studying and living abroad, either as a lecture teacher or artist in residence, including the period of time I spent studying in ethnomusicology in Paris, has enriched me knowledge, my spiritual experience, and my understanding of many things that have influenced and supported my work and my composition, both academic and artist. Uh, during my residency in uh, London, I worked with uh, electronics musician and maybe I'll give uh, you a little bit of example.
this group is called Prat, maybe you know the groups, uh, uh, Electronic Music, so she made already about 20 CDs. This recorded uh, in live um, performances. My love and concern for traditional Taiwanese art and music has encouraged me to continue exploring, observing, listening, learning, and working together with artists, cultural experts, and community leaders all over the Indonesian archipelago. I attempt to understand not only the physical aspect of the art, but also, as far as I am able, the values, meaning, and other essential of important aspects including symbolic and philosophical aspect when creating a new works i endeavor to respect not to harm and especially not to damage our art and culture or the art 
and cluster of other communities. I hope that my work can be some of benefit for encouraging the existence of the art of Indonesia both in the present and the future. Work of New Indonesian music are essentially a form of revitalizing traditional Indonesian music in several ways, including refunctionalization, providing new function or use, reformation, for formation, revising or creating new format, and or recreation. That is recreating something new based on or inspired by that which already exists, or searching through research and exploration to create something new. In order to do this, I need to research, study, interpret, explore, and recompile all the material I have gained in new format and using new methods. Now I'm talking about new music Indonesia. After gaining independence on 17 August 1945, Indonesia became a new nation in the form of a republic. Its territory stretched from Sabang in Sumatra in the northwest to Merauke in West Papua in the southwest, in the southeast. Indonesia is the largest, is the largest archipelago in the world. Made up of 30,000 islands, its geographical location and condition means that it has a rich variety of language, arts, custom, and culture, and a wealth of attractive flora and fauna. Indonesia, Indonesia's diversity is also one of the strengths, especially if all the different ethnic groups respect and help each other. Java is part of Indonesia that always strives to exist on a global level. Similarly, when creating a work of art, the Javanese, including myself, are not only oriented towards Java in the narrow sense, but to Java that exists on an region and even a global level. The communication between artists and the art of different nation and culture is becoming more and more intense and has, has enabled us to inspire and influence and one another and to work together with mutual respect and cooperation. In this way, the boundary between different ethnic group, culture, and even nation have been broken down. The traditional art and artists in Indonesia generally exist in a kind of gray area in the positive sense of the words. Until the 19, until the 1970s, Indonesian people did n not even know or recognize the profession of an artist. A professional artist meaning a person whose li livelihood depends entirely on his or her works as an artist. Gunman musicians are also farmers or fishermen or carpenters or school teachers or government employees or traders. And the same is true for dancers and dalang. Many mass dancers and dalang even make their own mass and puppet. I'd like to show you the situation in, uh, in Indonesia. We cannot really distinguish whether they are dancers, uh, farmer, uh, musician. If you see in this video, I took this video when I went to forest after they have a very big earthquake uh, earthquakes and uh, when they uh, work for restoring a church and then I just asked them just to sing uh, so no preparation no rehearsal and
So they are really a uh, farmer, but they can sing, can dance, and even uh, their music is uh, uh, much influenced by uh, church music. At the same time, sir, the original, I mean, sir, the the local sense, of the local how do you say uh, of music still, still uh, we can uh, listen. To them. As an artist, I'm fortunate to have acquired my artistry from multiple sources, from my family, my surrounding environment, and from the formal education I came while studying at Kokar and con uh, subsequently at Aski Surakarta. At the time, I worked as head of the Karawitan Department at the Central Java Art and Culture, and was also the first head of Karawitan Department at ASCII. This position gave me the opportunity to do something for the work of Karawitan in both academic and creative aspect. At the time, I also had a numerous uh, opportunities to work together with modern and con or contemporary drum artists and experimental theater artists, taking part in new experimental wayang performance, including wayang Buddha and shortened vision of wayang led like what you are going to see uh, tomorrow night. The circle of artists to which I belong then broadened as we began to form collaboration with artists from other countries and other fields and show of the arts, including theater, literature, film, fashion, electronics, music, and so on. My encounter and collaboration with other artists from a variety of different background and style of works has also been highly beneficial in helping to form and strengthen relationship with other artists. Working in the creative and academic field as is essentially a process of continuing to learn and study while at the same time forming bond and friendship with other artists. This one is another example of, of my work with working together with artists from Southeast Asia. This story actually is Ramayana, but in a uh, different style. The dancer is from Thailand, uh, the Sita, and Rama coming from Malaysia, and really gado gado. And I don't know what the music is uh, because I try not to be a Javanese, but it's very difficult. The, the flavor of Java is still very strong. This is a marriage of Rama and Sita.
Oh, in my words, I pay great deal of attention to the way in which I work together or from collaboration with other people and have a great respect for the friendship and relationship I have formed. When I work, I am not too concerned with my the, the type, genre, style or form of work that I produce. My family background, education, work, relationship and exploration have all played an important role in helping to work uh, to form my work with move walk jump mingle and, and synergize with various different elements in quite a broad margin ranging from religious traditional or folk music to commercial music musical modern electronic computer contemporary avant-garde or pure unaccompanied vocal music music for string Quartet, dance, uh, Sadupapa theater, drama theater, opera, film, fashion, and so on. I never compartmentalize the arts. Art should be open and flexible. This is another sample. <coughs> this is Lear, but in uh, the King Lear is performed by Jawa uh, No artist and the the daughter performed by uh oh The music is gamelan, uh, also biwa instruments, and also electronic music. Uh, I mean, uh, synthesizers. <laughs> this is a bridging opera artist.
this is our work in 1993 uh, and we are going to redo it again uh, and we perform in New York uh, next year but in different version uh, in musical this one is a uh, theater but next next time will be in musical Uh, the same views can also be applied to contemporary artists in Indonesia who work in the field of music, dance, film, and also visual art. Most of these artists come from a strong traditional background of the arts. Incidentally, those artists that I have just mentioned are artists who came from traditional background but were also educated or have thoughts or work in formal education, educational institution for the art in Indonesia. All of them have also had opportunity to travel and interact with international artists and the true art mission for the education to earn a master degree or doctorate or by teaching or collaborating with artists from other countries, in particular from America, Europe, Japan, Korea, and India. They or we have also been involved in a numerous of art, art activities of at educational institution for the art in various cities throughout Indonesia, not only as teacher but also as academic leaders, whether in a particular department or as the, the head of a particular art institution. These artists have thereby also played a role, uh, a role in taking making decision that have determines the direction and characters in the art in particular institution and also in the surrounding surrounding area as we are aware educational institution from the art indonesia in particular institution of higher education play a very important role on shaping or determining the life of the art in the surrounding area in particular new contemporary art form in 1979, Jakarta Art Council held the first festival for young composer in Taman Ismail Marzuki. The festival which was conceived and directed by Sukarjana opened up a new page of history of contemporary music in Indonesia. I was fortunate to be chosen as one of the composers who would take part in this festival and I perform one of my compositions in the campus. Kambu, but unfortunately I couldn't find uh, the recording here so I just uh, uh, skip. <laughs> this festival was followed by another festival for young choreographer which was held for the first time the following year. Once again Oh, both of these festival events continue to be held annually in the same place and become an important forum for contemporary artists and performing art in Indonesia. As we know, contemporary art was a new phenomenon which only appeared 
for the first time in Indonesia during 1970s and was initially only recognized by a certain group of people. That this genre could be chosen, uh, sorry, sorry, people. The art venue music subsequently become much more popular and even become an important part of Indonesian music that was needed by the community and artists in order to, ex- to express their creativity and present their idea, aspiration, and message through their works. Many of many new works with different colors and characters began to emerge in various parts of Indonesia. The traditional original music from the surrounding area was usually used as the main material for this composition as it was rich in potential for being used and treated in new ways. Such works were created, existed, and developed many institutions of higher education of foreign art either as composition for student final ex- assignment or by teachers. Outside the campus, there were a number of artists who were motivated by their own creativity or by re- religious needs and created new music in order to express themselves or to take part in festival and other festival, uh, other, other events. Since the opening of a number of postgraduate programs for put master's degree and doctorate degree in the field of art composition, there has been an increase a number of new contemporary musical compositions that have emerged and they have continued to develop in put variety and quality. EC Surakarta is one of the top choice for students from various other institutions and areas throughout Indonesia. Most of students who undertake postgraduate study at EC Surakarta are the lecturers from and are hoping to become lecturers at Variation is various intuition of higher education for the art or, or for Indonesia. I have also had uh, the honor of taking part of in this program in helping to set up the program, design the curriculum, and teach the students, especially those who p- come from cultural areas outside of Java helping them to prepare their new composition and I also directed the, I also directed the program for five years. In other words, the concept, ideas, methodology, style, experience, knowledge and work methods that we have developed at EC Surakarta have to a certain extent played a part in influencing or shaping the work methods or works of the student or at least are used as material for reference or consideration even if they are chosen to be disregarded. Now we talk about festival because our festival have a very important role in, uh, uh, in developing of uh, new music in Indonesia. The development of new music still faces a number of obstacles in terms of its socialization, appreciation, and dissemination. At the present time, one of the most effective kind of even, even and performing this type of music is festivals. Although it is also performed at various other educational events that take place a formal educational institution for the art and as a part of expression of other art forms such as dance, theater, and film. As I mentioned at the beginning of this section, Sukarjana through the Su- Jakarta Art Council pioneered a form to present and encourage to develop composition of new music and the birth of new composer or new works. Okay. Thank you very much. Unfortunately, this annual event eventually came on and after a period of more than 10 years. Subsequently, numerous festivals of new music began to appear in different places, organized in different scale and with a variety of format. This festival have been held in Surabaya, Jogja, Bandung, Padang Panjang, Makassar, Palu, Jakarta, Denpasar, and so on. 
number of art festivals that are held in other countries have also provided significant support to the development of the new musical of new musical composition. I and uh, I have to mention in 1991 Indonesia and working together with some American institution had a large festival in America which was considered to be quite success and created a positive image in the eyes of the international community namely in the festival of Indonesia also known as Kias and the other festival uh, is a Gamelan International uh, International Government Festival in uh, Vancouver in 1986. So I have to jump. Uh. NRIs, these two important events that were had in America can be considered a form of international recognition since I believe that America is one of the main centers for the birth, existence and development of the contemporary art including music during our time in America, I saw that the concert and also the discussion forum were very well received. This was evident that every, at every performance and workshop when the group always received a standing ovation and could write up by the media such as uh, San Francisco Chronicle and People's Choice magazine in New York. And the other um, uh, uh, New music Indonesia has since begun to appear more frequently representing Indonesia at various prestigious international forums such as the Tunukan Festival of Contemporary Music that was held uh, as part of the Congress and at the Asian Composer League in Philippines, the Rome and Scotland Festival in Berlin, the BBC Promenade Concert Series and the Royal Arpet Hall in London and South Bank Center in New York uh, in London and also uh, Concert and Lincoln Center in New York, etc. And the other one is collaboration, but I can I cannot talk a lot about, uh, a lot about that. And I want just for, the, for ending my talks, and I would like to uh, play uh, my work with the uh, Chronos. Maybe uh, it's very uh, actually it's for uh, one hour, but uh, just. <laughs> <laughs> This can there kendang and quartet. Thank you very much for listening.